Mr. Amos Kester, the CEO of Kester Amos Consultancy Services Limited. Today, we are bringing our official video on feed formulation. And when you have a very large snow farm, we help you to formulate your feed in your farm because feed is very important for the production and uh, egg production and survival of any animal. So, today, we are about starting the feed formulation. So, first of all, we're bringing out the maize. We have maize, we have GNC, we have soya bean meal, we have PKC, we have fish meal, we have limestone, we have bone meal. There are a lot of things that comprises the feed component. So uh, that's what we're doing. Unfortunately, I'm not going to tell you the percentages we are using here. Sorry for that. If you want to find out that, you have to give us a call. But the uh, essence of this video is to show you how to formulate the feed. So when you have the percentages, it's easier for you to formulate too. So first of all, what we are doing now is manual formulation. We have a feed mill where you have the hammer mill, the conveyor, the mixer. But here we are doing it manually. And sometimes the manual formulation is actually better than the uh, mechanical formulation because it actually makes the feeds very well. So what we have on the ground now is maize. We have maize takes 50% of the feed. So we are formulating for one ton, which is 1,000 kilogram, and about um, 500 kg is maize. So what we have here is the maize. So we are not going to pour out all the maize at once. We have to put in other items, then we'll put the maize again to ensure that the feed is properly mixed. So that's what we're doing now. All right, so let's now pour the soya bean meal. So the next item that will be coming in is yeah. the soya bean. In stages. All right, so that's the soya. Bring the next one. So pour it in. Pour it inside now. Pour the other one in first. I will break it. To ensure it mixes properly well. So bring the fish meal. Let's pour the fish meal. That's another component, the fish meal. To spread it evenly on top is bring the next one, the bone. Are complete. We have about 11 items here. Now, the, the, the technology here is to know the nutritional content of the snail and formulate as such. These feed materials are the same materials we use in producing for poultry and other class of livestock. But the difference here is we don't have salt because anything that has to do with salt must not be mixed with the feed for snails. So the only difference between this feed and poultry and other animal feed is salt is not involved here. But the feed is formulated according to the nutritional requirement of snails. So the protein content is way higher than what you have for birds, for goats, for cattle and all of that. Because the protein content of this feed is 26% crude protein. So it's balanced and very rich. So the next thing we are going to do now is to mix this feed properly and we are done with it. So that's what we do now. So we can start with the mix.
so the feed is well mixed now you can almost not differentiate which is maize which is gnc which is soya bean from the other so this is how it ought to be if you look closely now you think it's a poultry feed but the formula here is not for poultry if you give this to poultry the birds will not perform very well because it's not formulated based on poultry but for snails so this is a balanced diet for snail so we also have feed for snails uh, we're going to make another video to show you how to feed them we don't feed them dry like this we have to moisten the feed before we give it to the snails because snails like their feed wet and not dry so this is where we're going to end this video for now and today so uh, don't forget to click on the like button and subscribe thank you bye bye